One of the hardest aspects about astrophotography and nightscapes is ensuring that your stars are perfectly focused. If you're shooting on the Nikon Z8, Nikon just released new firmware that will help you ensure that your stars are pinpoint sharp when you go out to take astrophotography and nightscape photos. Hello everyone, I'm Will Cheney. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the Nikon Z8's new ability to magnify the shooting display up to 400% and go into detail about why that's important for getting your stars in focus. And if you'll stick around to the end, I'll also cover two other techniques using the Nikon Z8 that'll help you get your stars in focus. And I'll be honest up front, this isn't a huge groundbreaking update, but whenever I saw the release notes on the firmware, I have to admit I got a little excited about being able to zoom into 400%, and because of that, I thought that it was worth sharing. So let's jump into a little bit of explanation on this. Prior to the firmware release, the maximum that you could zoom in on your shooting display was 200%. So 400% doubles that. And why that's important is because one of the techniques that a lot of photographers use to get pinpoint sharp stars is to actually zoom in on their shooting display and then adjust focus by looking directly at one of the bright stars that's in the sky. Some of you may be listening and you're unfamiliar with that technique. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the demo video so that you'll get a better understanding of what I mean by this. So what I'm doing here is I'm adjusting the focus ring and you can see as well, I'm not out at infinity. The star looks uh, very haloed, very dim and very large. But as that focus goes to infinity, you can see that the star tightens up. So now this is where I'm zooming in using the shooting display and getting as close in on that star as I can. So I'm at 400% right here and I'm just adjusting the focus ring and you'll see how the star gets a little bigger. Now it's getting smaller, it just got big again. So I'm gonna dial it back and that's gonna get me on that infinity focus that I need for the stars. So I've taken a picture now with that and we'll see that that star is fully focused. All right, so here we are on the Orion Nebula and I'm just zooming in using the shooting display going out to 400%. And I'm just adjusting the ring now to get it. You can see it's out of focus there, in focus. Now it just came out of focus again. And I'm just tightening up on those uh, bright areas. Um, you can actually see two of the stars kind of separate. Uh, they go together and then separate back out when I've got it in focus there in the center. Now that you're familiar with that, I would love if you would go ahead and smash the like button down below. And if you like this channel, please hit the subscribe button and that'll make sure that you get my latest videos whenever they're released. So I did promise talking about two other techniques for focusing on stars. Uh, the first one, this has been something that I've used with other Nikon cameras, uh, particularly on the Z mount. I mean, there's a setting that you can go into called save less focus setting. What you wanna do is turn this off. Uh, by turning this off, most of the lenses, in fact, all of the lenses that I've tried it on that are Nikon Z mount, what they'll do is when you turn the camera on, it will automatically go to an infinity focus. And to be honest, whenever I'm shooting with my Nikon Z 14 to 24 millimeter lens, this is the technique that I use to make sure that I'm at infinity focus for the stars. If you wanna learn more about that, I'll drop a card somewhere up here at the top of the screen and that'll take you over to that video so that you can see my full technique on how I do this. That brings me into the second technique, uh, using a Batonov filter. So this is something that typically gets brought up in the comments a lot over on my star focusing video. Um, and what that is, is this little filter here. These are fairly cheap to go buy over on Amazon. And if it's another tool in your toolkit that you want, um, I think it's a great ad, and it's definitely gonna make sure that you get stars that are always in focus. I plan to put out a video in the future about how to use a Batonov filter, uh, but for now, if you're interested in more information on how that works, other than just going and buying the product and placing it on your lens, be sure to go check out other videos on YouTube. There's already quite a few out there that cover the topic, but I think it's something that everybody should be aware of in case they wanna go explore that option. So that's it. As I said earlier, this isn't like a huge groundbreaking addition out of the update. I definitely think there's bigger ones like the pixel shift imaging. Whenever I was reading through the notes when they first came out, uh, this one just stood out to me as something that I was gonna at least enjoy for my astrophotography. I'd love to hear down in the comments if there's any other updates from the firmware 2.0 that you're enjoying for the Nikon Z8. And please be sure to like and subscribe so that you can get the latest videos as I put them out. And as always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one.